The Serious and Organised Crime Branch have an ongoing commitment to bring offenders who commit armed robberies to justice. We're highly aware of the impact of these violent robberies on victims and the broader community and we'll leave no stone unturned to find the offenders. Over a series of weeks, we intend to release new information about several armed robberies that have taken place between 2007 and 2022. While we have strong lines of inquiries and persons of interest, we're just missing that piece of the puzzle to bring these offenders to justice. In some of these investigations, people have provided information in the past and we're asking those people to come forward again and provide further information. Since the event, they might become aware of more information. That will be very helpful to us. The first robbery we're appealing for information about is an armed robbery that occurred at Old Granella. So 12.20am on Tuesday, 30th of April 2019, a man entered the gaming room of the St Francis Winery. He was armed with a machete and demanded money. Um, he was given money from the safe and the till. He's described as Caucasian, about 180 centimetres tall, medium build, wearing a black long sleeve top with a white motif on the back, which read violent, black shorts with an everlast tag on one leg and black and white running shoes. He was also wearing a wide um, straw brimmed hat and his face was covered with a yellow bandana. In addition to being armed with a machete, he was carrying a black backpack with a green stripe. A vehicle suspected in, to be involved in the offence was seen pulling out of the verge of Main South Road about 100 metres from the winery in a southerly direction. The vehicle was a Holden Statesman, white in colour, with stolen Victorian registration plates, UKS 305. Following the robbery, this vehicle was last seen travelling in a westerly direction along Sheriff's Road, Rinella. Today we're releasing some new images of the vehicle and the male being um, suspected to drive that vehicle. Yeah, hello. Um, from time to time, uh, new intelligence or information comes to SAPOL and Crime Stoppers is there, always ready to help um, and engage with the public to, to make the public aware that there is the ability to provide information, whether online or through a phone call to Crime Stoppers, and your information is anonymous. You won't be identified, you won't have to go to court, you have to, don't have to make a statement. You're able to provide that intelligence and uh, do it with anonymity. Um, so we're just probably here today to provide support to SAPOL and to say that these cases, there's new intelligence, new information, and will be a, a platform of engagement for the SA community to provide um, uh, people to report if they know anything about these crimes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> why have you, I mean, of, of all the outstanding um, ad robberies, why have you chosen these handful, half a dozen to focus on? Uh, these have been chosen because they're sitting with my branch and we believe we've got a really good opportunity to solve these robberies. Um, and that's why we're releasing the new information. Do they have anything in common? No. Okay. Um, but they're more than just your... St has a weapon been used in each Yeah, one? so they're all armed robberies and on gaming rooms. They're all on gaming rooms, mm -hmm. yeah. And, I mean, I guess if you're going back to 2007, I mean, some of these suspects, they could have turned their lives around since then, you know, say that they've got jobs now or they're on the straight and narrow. What kind of effect could putting their image up on... The world wide web have on them? I think it like this. If those people are sorry for what they've done, then they should come forward and tell us and um, admit they've made a mistake. And on the other end of this is not only the offenders but the victims. And for us to have resolution for these victims is very important because these events change people's lives. Some of these people have never been able to work again. So it is really important that victims know that we don't give up on this. 
what kind of message does this send to, I guess, current offenders or would-be offenders? What message does this operation send to them? My message is we don't give up. And my message is think again before you do it. And what kind of cost do these robberies have? You mentioned the uh, victims, but overall, what kind of cost do these robberies have um, on those involved and the businesses as well? There's a lot of costs. There's a lot of cost to the victims, their family. Um, as I said, some of these people can't work again. There's, you know, cost to the broader community. People are scared to go into gaming rooms because of this sort of thing happening. There's cost to the Australian Hotels Association because people are second guessing, should I be employed in this industry? Because there are late hours involved. Um, there's economic costs. There's a lot of cost to the community. And that's why we don't give up. How effective are these name and shame campaigns? Do you have people calling up, they want their photo taken down before their mum sees, do they work? When you say name and shame, um, we're not naming anyone. If we had the name, we'd be arresting them. Um, shaming them, I don't know if they're shamed. That's really an issue for them. I think they should be ashamed that they do these type of things. I think it's really important to keep these in focus and not to lose focus that the fact there are victims on the end of this. Crime Stoppers is doing something similar with um, bottle shop um, robberies. Are these types of campaigns effective? Absolutely effective, and I applaud Crime Stoppers. Um, it is a way that people can be anonymous and protected, and we really value our working relationship with Crime Stoppers. I think people are secure in the fact that they can ring them and be protected, and like I said, it just might be that piece we need. You know, it might be something that people think is a bit nebulous and not important to them, but it's important to us. And that's why the vehicle of Crime Stoppers is a really good avenue for investigators. You mentioned these crimes date back to 2007. Are you seeing a decline in armed robberies for gaming rooms, or is that still on the rise? Um, we work very hard to keep the robbers in gaming rooms down. They are down at the moment, touch wood. But like any crime, they're fluid. So it's a matter of us working with our investigators, working with different partners, like I said, the Australian Hotels Association, Crime Stoppers, um, you know, investigation techniques. Um, serious and organised crime branch are responsible for investigating those robberies and we have a very high clear-up rate and people should have confidence in us that we will find the offenders. You mentioned, you mentioned people that have already made statements maybe in the years past to come forward again if they have any information. What kind of encouragement do you have if they, they don't want to come forward? Well, I think it's, it's one of those things where people might have provided and people have provided information to Crime Stoppers in the past. But like I said, you know, on the date they might have been in possession of certain information, but since that time they've become in possession of more information that they haven't rung back and told us about. So I think, you know, if they've used the Crime Stoppers process before, they know they can re remain anonymous. And I think the other thing is that if you are involved in this, or you're perhaps protecting the person involved in this, or perhaps assisted them, you need to come forward because you might be swept up in this investigation as well. And you just mentioned those gaming room robberies are down at the moment. Is there any reason for that? Like I said, a lot of good collaboration between partners and a lot of good work by the Serious and Organised Crime Branch detectives. They are very committed people and there's a, a good high clear up rate for these robberies. The penalty for armed robbery is life imprisonment. And the people we have arrested have got long terms of imprisonment. So that acts to protect the community as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.